some syrup here with 37 grams of sugar in a fourth of a cup. And that's more than you should have in two days. So we're going to say no to the syrup. 210 calories to um, 12 servings in this thing. So if we have to have syrup, we'll do sugar free. But we probably won't even be having pancakes and things that we need to have syrup on anyway. So bye to the syrup. We've got peanut butter. There are options here. Okay, so cream and peanut butter we can't have. I'm sorry. But there is an option called better in peanut butter that is 100 calories for every two tablespoons, which is half the calories of this 190 calories, 16 grams of fat. Um, Let's pan around to Eric and see what he thinks about his dear peanut butter. So <laughs> but I'll give you another alternative that tastes just like peanut butter. But that's just unnecessary calories. This one's almost gone anyways. Reduced fat just means that they put more sugar in it and less fat. It's still the same amount of calories, so it doesn't really. At the end of the day, we're trying to get rid of unnecessary calories. We can get our protein from a lot leaner sources that have a lot less fat in them. So um, we've got some little snack packs, but these are sugar-free, so if we have to have something sweet, it's okay. Um, it's good calorie-wise. We've got little lightly sweetened tropical fruit. It's, um, it's fruit, which is good, but um, we'll just need to have this as sort of a little cheap snack thing on the weekends only, so when you don't have your good measure meals. And we've got... Let's see what we got in the little cans. Tomato sauce, you can buy the tomato sauce with um, less sodium. And anything that you have in a can is going to have a lot more sodium. So you want to just rinse whatever beans or, you know, meat or any kind of, um, like these mushrooms, like you would want to rinse these before you use them. So that just gets rid of the unnecessary sodium because then you're just going to drink more water to flush out sodium. So we don't want that. Um, these black beans, um, they make black beans with less sodium. You can get your protein from a little bit less uh, calorie dense items. So what it would be an alternative rear to the black beans, like fr like dry beans and soaking them and doing them yes. myself? Yes, absolutely. That is, that is exactly what you should do. But um, you can keep these, you can dry them off and just make sure this says three and a half servings and that's 110 calories. So in this whole thing is, you know, 330. Yeah. Yeah, about 400 calories. So um, you just want to be portion controlled. And that's the big thing because I see in the back here yeah, uh -oh. little remnants of baking cups. Uh oh. But I found something for you at Michael's. So oh, this cool. would be a better portion control. And you still don't need to be making cupcakes with them. But this will help you with your portion control with the better and peanut butter, peanut butter that I want y'all to buy. And I can go get it for y'all if you want me to. Um, but just being able to never put any kind of baking anything in one of those. And then if you have to have something sweet, just put it in the little tiny ones. Um, Greg, I got a question for you as far yeah. as like the peanut butter and that type of thing. Is that something you can get from like Whole Foods or somewhere? Mm -hmm. or? Yep. Okay. They have it at Whole Foods. They, um, they have them at some Publixes too. But some of the healthiest lower calorie substitutes are the hardest to find in the grocery store and that's why I love to take people to the grocery store and say never look at eye level always look up high look low that's where you'll not only find the more you know cost affordable things but you'll also find those little healthy items that they just kind of hide because we all want things to taste good and everybody wants everybody happy and you know it's a consumer market so the grocery stores trick everybody and just put everything right there and even if something says you know reduced fat like that peanut butter said that just has more sugar in it. It's still bad for you, it's still the same amount of calories, but um, so words like reduced fat or bad, um, things that say sugar free are typically okay in moderation, but that still has a lot of sugar alcohols. It's gonna mess with your digestion, so you don't wanna overdo it with those. Um, things that say, uh, this says caffeine free, but it's still made with rich milk chocolate flavor and it's 80 calories. And so we're just going to send back to this. Okay. And make the sugar-free option. It's okay in small portions. And I see that y'all have another one. But this one um, is even worse. Because this one's 120. And you're supposed to mix it with milk, which would be 210. But they make these in sugar-free options, too. So we'll have to get some of those. Bye, to The unnecessary calories in drinks, which is what these are great for. Y'all's little instant drinks. So y'all be good with purchasing these because water gets old pretty fast mm -hmm. and y'all are going to be needing to drink a lot of it. Um, that's the only thing pretty much that you can have unlimited, 
you know, amounts. So this is an orange and a fruit punch. This is fine. This one, um, you know, these only have little, you know, five calories, and that's just because it's got a little bit of, um, let's see, it's just got a little bit of artificial flavoring, which isn't good in high doses. But um, that's okay because calories at the end of the day is what we're looking for. So we don't have to be the absolute healthiest, cleanest, raw diet, crazy anything, because this is a realistic lifestyle change. So you want to make sure that you're doing something that you can keep doing and not just for this 12 weeks. And I one more question. I, like, I usually drink those, like I said, a Gatorade when I work out. Mm -hmm. but like, um, they also have like some, you know, like some Kool-Aid type drinks or whatever. They come like that as well. Yeah. Are those okay? Because they're, they're like low, they're like sugar-free also. Right. They come in little yeah. packets. Are those okay? Or those, okay? those are okay. So they say sugar-free on them. So the okay. ones that say sugar-free, the ones that say we're enhanced with vitamins and electrolytes are the best because your body's going to absorb those and actually use those to refill your body in the most effective way. Um, sometimes the sugar-free stuff can be, I, you know, more, I guess, I'm trying to say it like the least like PC way, but I mean, you'll flush it right out of your system. Right. Yeah. So, P. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Using the potty, and you always want to make sure that's clear. If it's ever yellow, you are not drinking enough water. So, sure. your all your pee needs to be clear in the morning. Hardly ever clear, right? So first thing, drink tons of water in the morning. Um, uh -oh. Pudding, yeah. See ya. They make no more free, strawberry pies. I make a delightful trifle <laughs> with those. Um, no. Uh, oh no. No pasta, no potatoes. That's all starchy carbs. Okay, so people are like, I don't even know what a carb is. I don't even know what, you know, what a good carb is, a bad carb. Pretty much the only good carbs are vegetables and fruit, and you still can't have unlimited sources of those because at the end of the day, that's calories, that's a lot of sugar, it's natural sugar, which is good, from the fruit because your body's going to use that for energy, which you're going to feel, you know, kind of tired and sluggish with reducing your calorie intake, so quality calories is huge, so on the weekends when you don't have those good measure meals, you definitely want to make sure you're having something that's going to fuel your body and not make you feel sluggish and want to sit on the couch.